warning. This is what happens when I try. <laughs> what is going on? Hi guys, I'm back. Good morning. Um, I woke up at like seven. Some days I just can't sleep in on the weekends and I was trying to decide what I wanted to do for a workout today. I can't go for a run outside because it's raining and I was going to go to the gym, but if you guys watched my last vlog, I've been going to the gym like every single day in the mornings and I just wasn't feeling that today. I was like, it's Saturday. I want to do something different. So I was like looking at different workouts to maybe do today, maybe try a new studio and I discovered that i was trying to find a cup i discovered that soul cycle is now on class pass so if you guys have class pass i don't know if it's every city but if you're in new york and soul cycles on class pass that's like huge because i've been living in the city for five years now and like that was my biggest want was for soul cycle to be on class pass because one soul cycle class is like 38 to 40 dollars and class pass makes it a little bit cheaper so i booked a class this morning it's at 9 30 it's a 60 minute class i'm like what am i doing <laughs> so i'm drinking this honey stinger rapid hydration mix it's mango melon and it has caffeine in it so i bought these off of amazon because i've had this before and i really liked it just it's like a liquid iv but with caffeine so I'm gonna drink that and who I'm like breathing all that in this sports bra I just bought from this new company that I discovered it's called TLF apparel and it stands for take life further so I really like that slogan they were having like a huge Black Friday sale and I was like, let me just try like a new workout brand. And I'm really impressed with all of the stuff that I bought. I bought a size extra small in the leggings, but I have to return them, exchange them for a small just because they were like too tight and like uncomfortable. But I'm normally like self-conscious about having any cleavage show, but this is like super compressive. So I think it'll be good for the workout, but really impressed i'll show you guys later like the other things that i got i'll probably share like everything once i get the right size of leggings in I'm trying to put those extra smalls on it's like i'm like out of breath they're also like very affordable with the sale going on like i think this was only 30 bucks and i'm like i need to buy like good quality workout gear because i'm working out all the time and i want to find like good brands other than like lululemon and aloe and this one's really good. I was so impressed. When I buy workout clothes on Amazon that are like a Lululemon dupe, they're never actually dupes in my opinion. Like they're just off like the fabric pills or whatever. You guys get it, I'm sure. I mean, aesthetically probably a dupe, but when it comes down to the construction and the wearability and how long it lasts it's definitely not a lulu dupe because my lululemon stuff if you take good care of it it'll definitely last a long long time so how funny was my coffee this morning i have to leave in like 10 minutes i need to go throw my hair up but happy saturday we're gonna make the most of this rainy day i don't know what i'm doing today literally don't have any plans but tomorrow Leo and I are going to Clinton Street Baking Company. Since I've moved to the city, I've been wanting to go to this place for their pancakes. They have like famous pancakes. So I'm so excited. I snagged a reservation there. So we'll be doing that tomorrow. I'm so excited. enjoying the vlog so far i just wanted to quickly pause here to talk about two new dossier scents for this month if you guys are not familiar dossier is a perfume company that makes perfume based on your favorite designer scents and there is no markup i'm sure you guys know that obviously designer perfumes can be so expensive but not dossier it's very affordable i cannot recommend it enough and i wanted to share my top two perfumes with you guys for december you know i wanted to end the year off on my faves okay 
So first here we have is Woody Sandalwood. This I use basically every day. This is my go-to. I use this every season. I know sometimes I talk about like switching up your perfume scent based on whatever time of year it is, but this one is something that I'm always going back to. It's inspired by Le Labo's Santal 33. I've gotten so many compliments on this perfume. Almost every time I wear it, someone's like, oh, are you wearing Le Labo Santal 33? I'm like, yeah. If you're only gonna buy one from Dossier, this is the one it should be. Moving on, this one is Ambry Saffron. This is a dupe for the Baccarat Rouge 540. It is spot on. It's so good. Again, it's like multi-seasonal. You can just wear this all year round. Sometimes I get crazy and I use both. I'll mix all different dossier perfumes. So if you have any at home, I highly recommend like trying to mix them because it comes out very nice. And I just love dossier. It's never overpowering. I never have any issues. I just love the scents. They're all spot on to those designer fragrances. I cannot say enough good things. I'm always promoting dossier on my channel, but I just couldn't wait to share these with you guys. If you're interested, you can click the link down below and you can use my code to get some money off. Again, these are super affordable, but happy shopping. Let's get back to the vlog. We're done at Soul Cycle. So sweaty. It's pouring out, but I'm glad I went. guys i am back home it is so rainy cold windy not enjoyable to be outside right now hopefully it lets up a little bit because i don't want to sit at home all day but on my walk home i stopped at the grocery store which it's so annoying like when you're walking down the street and it's so windy that you can't even hold the umbrella i can deal with rain but when it comes to the wind it just makes it unbearable but i had to restock my almond creamer i use this every single day it's amazing i love it so much seven dollars and fifty cents for this insane and then i picked up some cream cheese because i'm gonna make a little breakfast sandwich i told you guys in my last vlog i'm like obsessed with english muffins at the moment so i'm gonna make a little english muffin turkey bacon egg and cream cheese sandwich because that just sounds so good to me that's it the class that soul cycle was so good i'm glad i got that out of the way especially on this rainy day it's nice to just get out early and get it over with so i'm going to cook this up i'll show you guys what it looks like if it's worth showing i don't know if it's gonna be pretty or whatever but i'm gonna need to shower because i'm gross <laughs> Here is my breakfast, my egg sandwich, some strawberries. I need to make a coffee, but this looks so good. background I walking to Leo's apartment right now it's taking the trains on the weekend it's not fun but I'm glad it's not raining anymore so that's that just wanted to give you that update I can't believe Sky's Look at that, 10K. <laughs> we just ordered food. We ordered a lot of food. I will share it when it arrives, but 
we went a little overboard. We went, I think we spent like $60 on food. But it's fine, it's a rainy day. First up, we have chicken Caesar wraps from Lenwich. Salt and vinegar chips, these are so good. We're gonna split these because, like I said, we have more food on the way, but we added jalapenos to this. I love these. Lenwich is so good. It's like one of my favorite places. And then for dinner, we got some marinara pizza. Looks a little messy in transit. And then we got some spicy rigatoni vodka. But wow. Vodka slice, MVP, chicken parm, two buffalo slices. These slices are massive. Hopefully it's not too cold out there. Back home, did six and a half miles. Got some smoothies for us. Just gonna eat these and then get ready. Eat. Eat these, drink right. these. And go get some pancakes! Yay! Making a amped up coffee right now before we leave. Excuse me, man. <laughs> That's how you do it. Whip topping over an espresso. So good. It makes it such a difference. This I know. Is like, it reminds I remember. me of the cookie butter cold no, beer. more. Do it. It's <laughs> Sunday. Just got ready, we're about to go get our pancakes. <laughs> I'm wearing all denim as usual. Just this ribbed sweater and some boots. up getting the pancakes we also split a burger and got a side of sausage it was all so incredible literally the best pancakes I've ever had in my whole life but now we're gonna take the train up to Bryant Park so it's been great perfect amount of food by the way about to heat up some leftover pizza from last night. Leah was attempting to hang Christmas lights. And that's the Sunday evening. But pizza is ready to go. So sad how quickly the weekend goes by, you know? So depressing. That's why you have to enjoy every single minute of it. Also, I finished my book today. I've showed you guys this book in like every vlog for the past like two months. 
so I have to go to the library and return it, but it was a good one, really good. I actually would consider rereading it because at the end I was like, what? It was such a twist. So yeah, now I'm gonna read another book by that same author and then also going to read this Millennial Money. In my last vlog, I told you guys I'm trying to be better about my money and just learn more about investing. So, gotta get smarter. Here's the finished product. It's so cute and cozy in here now. Hello, happy Monday. I just got home from Whole Foods. I've been really into like Greek themed meals lately, so I'm gonna go with that this week. I got some chicken breast to make with like Greek salads or whatever. Some pumpkin seeds, I just like to have them for salads in general. I got some beans for my salads. Some Greek pepperoncinis for the salads. Feta cheese for the salads. Kalamata olives for, you guessed it, the salads. Black olives, cucumber, pita chips. So good crushed on top of salads some bananas. I picked up these chicken sausages. I've never seen this brand before. It's called Amy Lou and they are cacio e pepe flavored. They have pecorino, parmesan, and black pepper in them. So looks really good. I always like picking those up, having them in the fridge for easy weeknight dinners. I got some tomatoes, some apples to snack on. And then some baby arugula. And then this Ithaca dill lemon hummus. It just looks so good. So I'm excited to make some Greek themed salads and dinners. So that's my meals for the week. Hey guys, it's a little while later. Sorry if you can hear my dishwasher. But I just got a package in from ASOS. This is an order that I placed for Black Friday. And I got this little crop sweater. I love white sweaters in the winter. I think it's so chic. And then I got these jeans and I'm trying to get into the baggier jean trend, but I don't know if they look good on me or not. They fit around my waist, which is nice, but I just don't know if I'm not wearing the right shoes with them. So I don't know. They're kind of gonna grow on me maybe. I just can't decide if they look too baggy. I don't know but also in the model photo online the leg bottom was much more wide so I thought they were going to be a wider leg but I don't know can't decide okay I'm gonna end the vlog off here now thank you guys for watching if you made it this far comment a denim emoji down below because I love denim I wore all denim yesterday so it's only fitting. So thank you guys for watching. If you made it this far, I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye.